It's time for us to set up or to create a user model. This is going to be for the, uh, the user information that we're going to be used to store inside our database. So let's go ahead and create this model. I'm going to open this new terminal window here. So that way I can make a new directory. I'm going to make there and I'm going to call this directory models. And close this up. So over here within our models, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this user.js. Okay. Now to get started with creating our models, I'm going to bring in mongoose. Require mongoose. Okay. And I'm going to create a schema, a user schema. It's going to be mongoose or new mongoose. We've got to create a new instance, new mongoose schema. And this is going to take an argument, an object as an argument which is going to have store all of our uh, properties for our database. So the first one is username. This is going to be an object with, uh, and we're going to do type. This is going to be a string and required is true. Okay. The other one is going to be email. It's going to be a type of string required also true we're going to have password string required true and by the way the reason why i'm setting it required true is because if if we did not want to if if these values were not required we could actually leave, the, leave this out because Mongoose by default sets required to false. However, since we do want them required, uh, we, we want to set them to true. Otherwise, it's going to be set to false. Okay. And then next, we want to do row. Now, row is going to be a little different here. We're going to do type. It's going to be a number. And default is going to be zero. The purpose of the row property is because we're going to have two possibilities of row, either zero, which would signify a user or one, which would be an admin user. So if it's zero, this would mean that this is going to be a regular user, in which case this user that signed up, if their row is zero, they would have the ability to see for uh, to get information such as their purchase history and that's going to be later on and for row of one an admin user if it is one admin user then that would mean that this is an administrator in which case this administrator would be able to uh, put or manage the website right or to add Im new products new images for that product and descriptions and whatnot so he would be in charge of the website in adding new products okay whereas the user again is simply a user who made a purchase and they'll be able to log in and to see things like the purchase history okay but by default it's going to be user of a regular user dissolve oh, i'm sorry default of zero meaning it's going to be a regular user okay the next thing is here we're going to have uh, uh what was here timestamps timestamp of true so by me setting this property here timestamps of true this would mean that whenever an instance of this user is created a created at property and a um, updated at property would be created. Okay. Okay. So now that we have that taken care of, let's go ahead and do user, and this is going to be 
going to do mongoose model user and then the schema the, the name of the schema user schema then we're going to export this so we can use it in other places module exports and then user okay so that's pretty much it for for the for our user model um, we have a total of four properties here right we have the username email password which we're supposed to be getting back from the front end and then we have the role to signify if it's a regular user or an administrator and then we export that user so that's it for now um, it was fairly it was a short video compared to others but that's it for now and we'll continue on in the next video